So, in my profile, right, I think this phone makes too much noise, so I gotta set it down. For some reason, the audio gets sensitive with this phone case on it. Everything I touch, every time I move, it sounds eerily annoying, and I hate it when I hear it. But once you make any kind of criticism on YouTube, especially when you're black, I'm telling you, the black community be vicious. White people, I be. My thing is, I look and put myself in the shoes of every race that's commenting. If it's towards their race and see how like they get flared up, but there's a special way that black people attack attack black people, and when it's male to male and female to female, the shit I talk or say in jest just to be hypocritical, and like my view, you ain't. I don't have no place or no right to say that at all. What I mean by that is, for example, if for some whatever reason. My life becomes something amazing or special where I'm amazingly fit, I'm making good money financially and stuff like that, and I have like some kind of amazing family or relationship dynamic that I got going on, and I look pretty well skin conditioned, capped, and I got good looking teeth, it's just clean, clear white and stuff like that, and um, I'm a very down to earth person, I have like amazing, like relatable personality to myself, whatever the case may be. And um, I guess maybe I have some strong faith or Christian Catholic belief of some sort. Yeah, or even a Muslim. Like, when all those things are met, that's about eight things I'm counting. When all those things are met, then I can stand in some regard to be able to criticize what I'm criticizing. And when I criticize, it must be in a positive critic. Like, I must give it in a positive way to that other person or people that I'm doing it towards as a black person towards where it's like oh like I'm saying it where you can work your way up to be a better individual now if I'm not doing that and I decide just to say anything haphazardly or irrationally or unjustly or something like that they, people will try to search and hunt down everything of my existence, date, timeline of me existing on the internet that they can find. So I was going to work. And that's because I'm black if black people look to find out who I am. And I understand that to be a thing on YouTube, right? So because I know that, you have to live your life in a certain way where it's like it has to be boring as possible. And like I just have to float under the radar for however long that is, because I don't have no intentions on trying to achieve them things I never saw in my life since I was a kid that that's what I was trying to do. Now, when you hear me talk, there's two ways that I talk about stuff, because I don't try to be ignorant about some matters and stuff like that, and I don't try to be super smart or be a know-it-all about things. I can have conversations about stuff, but in real life, some of those things don't have to play effect. So it's like, I see for me, the spectrum that I operate off of, and it's like a very, very abandoned or like barren spectrum that I operate off of, because some people can't fluctuate between the two. I literally alternate between the two dynamics so much that I'd be feeling like I have a split personality. I literally, in my mind, have two different people. So it's like me that's talking to you now, and then there's like the other me. I just like don't, I, I, what's that word? I Jekyll and Hyde, like how I how I am in a sense. I just want to be ignorant. I just don't give no fucks. Like fuck all that shit. I don't go. Like one day I can like sort of see me being able to speak and understand and be like have a neutral take to be open minded to people and their perspectives and how they feel about things and how they experience things. I'm all cool for that. Then after that, I'm a straight. Don't give no fuck conservative, like, closed-minded, like, everything that I see them liberals on the internet talk about, I'm, I, I'm like that, and I get that way, and I understand why that has to be a thing, why it must exist. Because, you know, when they say, uh, you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for everything, I believe is how it goes. So it'd be like that. So I tried to understand, I see it sometimes, but at the same time, there's some things that I see where it just cannot sink into me. No matter what you try to tell me, no matter how thing, 
in the background of my mind, that other part there's like a fail safe. It's really there to be a fail safe for my personality when it goes to a point where people will be thinking like they can come at me some kind of way, you know? Oh, be fool. But at the same time, I'm telling you, like, for me, I've always noticed that when you do this, it's the, the biggest people that I see that come for a personality, like a personality character like mine is Blacks. Damn, where are all these guys coming from? What the fuck? At what time is it? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. He said he's going to bed soon. Oh, it was 5 o'clock in the morning. That's the song. But yeah, that's what I noticed. So you can actually abandon YouTube channels, right? So what I mean by abandon is like, at some point, you'll just see like the person just never posted, it's never been on there anymore. Nothing's happened. It's just a dead end. And you'll just be like, wow, whatever happened? Because I saw a guy in his channel just recently, and I was like, wow. Oh, wow, there's more than one of them in one car? Let me get out the car. I got to end it here.